Hello, everybody. I'm London Breed, mayor of the city and county of San Francisco, and I'm really excited to join you all here today. But I tell you that no one is more excited than the parents of the kids who are going to be returning to school on Monday. Um, and today is an opportunity for us to just really get the word out to people all over San Francisco that we have oh, thousands of kids who are returning to school on Monday. You're going to see kids walking. You're going to see them biking. You're going to see them on buses. And yes, some of them are going to get dropped off by their parents in their cars. But ultimately, we want everyone to get around this city safely because there'll be more people out on the streets now than ever before as school begins on Monday. And so a part of today is really about highlighting the awareness uh, that we need people to slow down. We need people to be aware. We need people to do better. Um, we've had, sadly, a number of tragedies that have occurred on our city streets. And we know, unfortunately, that has a lot to do sometimes with speed. Um, and we need to slow down. Yes, I've asked the chief to increase um, uh, citations and to be aware in those high injury corridors the need to make sure that there's consequences for people who are speeding, which sadly can cause you know, a terrible tragedy. In fact, if a pedestrian is hit by a driver at 20 miles per hour, their risk of fatality is 5%. But if that is 30 miles per hour, their risk jumps to 45%. And what we don't want to continue is, sadly, what we see happening on our streets where we are losing far too many lives. And our most precious assets are our children. And so we want to make sure that when they are moving around San Francisco, going back to school, that they are safe. When I was a kid, uh, I, went across, I, wor I went to school across the street from where I lived. It used to be called Rack Your Wheel Elementary School, but the name is now Rosa Parks Elementary School. And what was so cool about that is we would all just walk to school. Someone would walk up to my window, yell my name. There already be three or four kids. We get to the corner on Eddie and Buchanan, and then there was a crossing guard right there to make sure that all cars stopped so that we could safely get across the street and move on our way to get to school. I never realized how valuable that was until I became an adult and I see so many kids that are out there trying to get to school. We were also taught, look both ways before crossing the street, so we also got to get back to some basics. This year, we've hired more crossing guards and we want to thank the folks who are joining us here today for your service and your commitment to making sure that people get around our streets safely. Um, and we also, as I said, have the chief here. We will be uh, pushing um, additional enforcement in certain areas. Um, and so I just want to also, you know, ask drivers to do better, uh, to stop texting, to stop making phone calls, to stop looking at your phones when you're driving on our streets, to slow down, um, and to look both ways and to be very careful um, when you are navigating the streets of San Francisco to follow, you know, the laws, the stop signs, the crosswalks, and all of those things are there for a reason. It's to keep all of us safe. The protected bike lanes are there to make sure that bicyclists are safe, that people walking across the streets are safe, that people are moving. This is all about safety. This is all about highlighting the need for us as a city to do much better than we have as a, in the past so that we can truly realize the goals of Vision Zero, and that is no fatalities of any kind in this city because of traffic or cars or what have you. And so at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, the supervisor that represents this district, um, represents Marina Middle School, where there'll be a lot of kids here, uh, first thing Monday, um, Supervisor Catherine Stephanie. Thank you, Mayor Breed. And I love Marina Middle School. It's so beautiful. 
I want to thank everyone, especially Mayor Breed and the students, parents, and city leadership who were able to make it out today, as well as our crossing guards, the most important people in the morning when we're um, dropping our kids off at school, who really do the important work of making sure that our students are safe in our communities. You know, um, my son Dominic just started high school on Wednesday, and my G daughter Gianna is starting fifth grade next week, and I dropped Dominic off at high school um, on his first day, I insisted, I did, I dro drove him. And I, he, besides saying to me, Mom, don't say anything weird when you drop me off, you know, there's people around. You know, I said to him, please look both ways. He's on a busy street and, you know, still at 14 years old, still telling my child to be careful when he's crossing the street, considering how dangerous our streets can be. So as we kick off the new school year, I can't help but think of our kids' safety in getting and coming home um, from school. As we all know, hit and runs and collisions um, between pedestrians and bicyclists and vehicles are way too common in San Francisco. At nearly every community meeting I've been to recently, neighbors have voiced support for creating safer streets and sidewalks, and I definitely share this goal. It is our collective responsibility to make sure that our streets and sidewalks are safe and secure for our families who are walking, for those who are driving, and for those who are riding their bikes to school. We know we all have work to do when it comes to making sure our commutes are safe. I know that I can always do better out there. You know, when you get to stop sign, count to three. Don't open a door before looking for a bicycle. Um, and just always be aware of, um, don't take calls, obviously, when you're driving. Just like Mayor Bree, sa Mayor Bree said, we could all do much better. I am so proud to join Chief Scott, whose police department performed a traffic safety enforcement blitz earlier this month, of course, at the direction of Mayor Breed. I'm glad I didn't get a ticket. Um, inter Interim Director McGuire, who continues to work with our communities in creating safe and sustainable transportation options for families. And Maureen Loftus, who has been an advocate for students and pedestrians across our city. And of course, again, Mayor Breed, who has continued to shine a light on transit safety and has worked toward creating a safer San Francisco for all of our students. As we begin our school year, let's all recommit ourselves to making our commutes to and from school safer. I look forward to working with Mayor Breed, my colleagues on the Board of Supervisors, our department heads, and families in all of our school communities to further our shared vision for a safer San Francisco. Thank you so much. Thank you, Supervisor. And now at this time, I'd like to introduce our Police Chief, Bill Scott. Thank you, Mayor, and good morning, everyone. Um, first of all, let me say thanks to both the Mayor and Supervisor Stephanie for their leadership on traffic and pedestrian safety. Back to school is an exciting time. It's exciting, it's a lot of work, and we want to start with this. Slow down a little bit, slow down. The Mayor mentioned it earlier, I mean, speed kills, and you know, a, in terms of the focus of the five violations that we concentrate on the most, it's trying to get people to slow down. So as the mayor stated and as Supervisor Stephanie stated, we are gonna be out doing uh, some enforcement activities. Now, I wanna also thank the mayor and the supervisor because what allows us to get better at this is their generous support of our budget this year. And last year, the mayor signed a budget and this year she signed a budget that included continuing our hiring plan. What, has, what that has allowed us to do is increase the size of our traffic company and specifically our motorcycle officers. We have uh, at least 10 more motorcycle officers than we had this time last year, thanks to the mayor's leadership on the budget and the supervisor, Stephanie's leadership on the budget. And what that means is we're able to do more enforcement and get people to slow down and save lives. What that looked like in the first six months of 2019, we've had 19 uh, speed LIDAR enforcement operations. We've had 12 sting uh, and decoy operations, pedestrian sting and decoy operations. We've had uh, bike lane enforcement operations. We've initiated over 231 vehicle or traffic stops through uh, Office of Traffic Safety grant operations. We've issued almost 100 citations just for holding a cell phone in your hand. And I mentioned this at last year's press conference. That's a big issue for us. People driving um, in, in our city while they're either talking on the cell phone or texting or distracted otherwise. And that's a big issue and we're gonna be focusing on that as well. We cited almost 75 through these grant operations just for uh, citations for texting while driving, which is very dangerous. The bottom line on this is enforcement is only one part of the puzzle. You know, I have, we have Tom McGuire up here with us. We have the, the crossing guards, 
this is really a community effort and a community event, and we really need the community support and your support to get the message out. Slow down, pay attention, be careful, because our kids mean so much to us. This saves lives. So thank you very much, Mayor and Supervisor Stephanie, for your leadership, and thank you all for being here. Thank you, Chief. Another important um, part of making our streets safer is improving our infrastructure. Now, I know that sometimes this can be a, a bit of a tug of war because we have uh, protected bike lanes that we need to install, and sometimes that would require the removal of parking, and we have changes to the way that we need to develop our city moving forward. Because when you think about it, um, you know, 20 years ago, you didn't see as many people bicycling. And now you have people using that as a primary mode of transportation. That's not only protecting our environment, but it's also keeping people healthy, and it is also making sure that the buses are less crowded and less people are driving. And so as we make these improvements to our infrastructure, the goal is, again, safety. It's about making sure that everyone knows where they should be when they're on the road in order to keep people safe. Um, and so the MTA is charged with the responsibility of helping us to reconfigure San Francisco as a place that used to focus mostly on developing our streets for cars, and now it's time to start developing our streets for you know, the future, and that includes cars and walking and busing and biking and all of those things in between. And so the person who's leading the MTA at this time is the uh, acting director, Tom McGuire. Thank, thank you, Mayor Breed, for drawing the connection between the changes we see on our streets and the, the choices that all of us make every day about how we get around San Francisco. Our goal as school opens this week is to make everyone feel like it's safe for their kids to be able to walk to school or bike to school or get to school on Muni. Uh, the 190 crossing guards who will be out on the street this week, including uh, Cordelia, Elisa, Kevin, who are the three crossing guards working here at Marina Middle School, and, and all their colleagues, including the folks on the, on the podium with us today, are here with one thing in mind, that's the safety of the children of San Francisco. We've been doing a lot of work this summer to prepare the city for a safe start to the school year. We restriped 90, 90 of the crosswalks around schools around the city. Uh, we've got muni trippers, we've got transit assistant staff who, who ride the bus with our high school and middle school students to make sure that everyone's safe as they navigate the city by muni uh, as well. So we're ready for, an, for, a, for a, a safe start to the school year, however you get around, whether you get around by foot, by driving, on, on a bike, or on Muni, uh, the MTA has got, has, has got something for you to keep you safe. And we're really grateful for the support of the mayor and Supervisor Stephanie, all, all the city's elected officials, for our audacious goal of Vision Zero to end traffic fatalities in the city. Thank you. Thank you. And we have um, a very special guest. Uh, the ladies of the West Side Waves are here today. and. Speaking on behalf of the team uh, is Maureen Loftus. Hi. Uh, my name is Maureen Loftus, and I'm here today because five months ago, on March 15th, my friend Madeline Koteva was struck by a car on John Muir Drive and died 10 days later. So I have normal memories of eighth grade. I remember my eighth grade play, spending hours on my science fair project, and coming in, studying for my big math tests. But I also remember coming in late to my homeroom, an excuse on my lips when I saw my teacher crying. I remember my team and I making cards for Madeline in the hospital because she was 14, and of course she was going to wake up. And I clearly remember spending my eighth grade graduation holding in my tears after her memorial because I didn't want to ruin my mascara. When someone dies, especially such a bright light like Madeline, a community suffers. And knowing she died in a way that is utterly human and utterly preventable makes it so much more heartbreaking. Our city has a problem, and it is killing people. With all the statistics and initiatives thrown around, it is easy to lose sight of the real impact. Madeline's parents, her siblings, her friends, and her teammates left behind trying and failing to move on. I am so grateful we have the support of so many of our city leaders. 
We got some of the change we asked for, but it is not enough. It won't be enough until this stops happening. We cannot lose sight of what matters. We have to remember what we as a city lose to these coalitions. We can end this. We will end this. Thank you. Thank you, Maureen, for really putting it into perspective of why we need to do better. And so um, thank you again, everyone who is here today. Uh, please keep in mind, uh, this is a changing city. It's a growing city. We have a lot more people who are out there on the streets, on the roads, walking. And so please be careful. Um, but we also will be out there uh, and enforcing the rules of the road. Um, and just keep in mind that there are a lot of people out there on the streets and your kids are out there, your mother's out there, your family members are out there. And so just think about that when you're out there driving around and you get distracted by a phone call. That phone call can wait. Um, what's so pressing that you have to reach for your phone which could risk the possibility of an accident. And the importance of today is just really to shine a light on our need to be better in San Francisco, to make sure that not one more tragedy happens on the streets of our city. Uh, thank you all for getting the word out. Thank you all for being here. Let's do better so that the kids that are going to school on Monday can have a great day and they can enjoy themselves and laugh and, and play and smile and make it home safely to tell their parents about what an amazing first day of school they had. Thank you all so much for being here.